إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ثم أما بعد عن عائشة رضي الله عنها قالت قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تؤدن الحقوق إلى أهلها يوم القيامة حتى إنه لا يقاد للشاة الجلحاء من الشاة القرناء أو الشاة الجلماء من الشاة القرناء. Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said the day of resurrection. First he commanded you and me to pay your dues. To give the rights to others to the point that he said the day of judgment the rights will be paid by those or to those people that the rights are due for to the point or so much so that the hornless, hornless sheep or goat will be retaliated for from the sheep with horns. And you have two sheep fight, one with horns, one without horns. Naturally, the one with horns is going to inflict more harm. Well, the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the sheep with no horns retaliate and take its right from the sheep with horns. Now this is, we know that the animals are devoid from any senses and they are not obligated. And you are, and I am. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala go into account animals, this is very scary for me and any believer. For those people who oppress others, for those people who take the rights of others. يعني الظلم, ظلمات يوم القيامة ولا بد للظالم من يوم إما أن يكون هذا الحق يؤخذ في الدنيا كمثلا تدعو على الظالم ويتحقق هذا الدعاء فهذا الإنسان يعني قد أخذ حقه لكن إن لم يأخذ حقه في الدنيا أخذه في الآخر If you don't take your rights here know for sure that the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى العدل the just justice will be served the day of judgment and that's the beauty of believing in the day of judgment the one who has rights that he couldn't get, he knows there will come a day he will get his rights. And the one who believes in the hellfire and the punishment gets scared for not giving the rights because he knows eventually he has to deal with it. And how do you deal with it? It's not going to be cash. It's not going to be hit me and I hit you. It's going to be hasanat. Hasanat. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked the companions, Atadruna man al-muflis? Do you know who is the bankrupt or the person who doesn't have anything? Qalu, ya Rasulullah, al-muflis man la mata'a lahu wa la mal. Person who has no belongings and no wealth. Qal, al-muflis man yati yawm al-qiyama wa qad daraba hadha wa shatama hadha وأخذ مال هذا وسفك دم هذا فيعطي هذا من حسناته وهذا من حسناته حتى إذا لم يبق من حسناته شيئا أخذ من سيئاتهم فطرحت عليه فألقي أو طرح في النار very very serious and scary رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said the real bankrupt we're not talking money the person who, mashaAllah, loaded with hasanat. He does all the good things, but when it comes to people, he's wrongdoer. He doesn't pay people their dues. He takes advantage of people. He harms people. He cusses this person, and he hits this person, and he rips off that person, and he may kill that person. The day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stops him. Okay, you slapped him. This is worth 100 hasana. Pay up. Okay, give this one, you know, <laughs> picture back biting. 
I'm not going to talk about those. Just picture how many people are going to be lined up for you, brother. Yeah, brother, I know. You come every weekend. Even for that weekend. Even for that coffee break that you take. How many people are going to be lined up when you sit, biting and talking, and God knows if this is true also or not. Imagine how much you have to give. Give this one and give this one and give this one and then you still have a long line. He said, oh Allah, over, uh, not really over. Okay, he said, Sheikh Hussain, I got no hasanat, brother, what should I do? And they said, oh, I got a lot of sayyat I can dump on you. It's the same thing. Hasana, you give me hasana or I give you sayyah. It's the same thing. I'm getting rid of a sayyah because hasana erases sayyah. Okay, then you take from their sayyat and you're loaded now with sayyat. And where do you go? Abed Khaltak. In the house of your aunt. And that is not a good house. You know, we say it in, uh, in our natural life jail, basically. And there is a jail in hellfire, believe it or not. There is a jail. When you mention hashr, this is jail. Animals. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create animals to be accounted? No. Lakin animals are communities like us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala qal, وَمَا مِن دَابَّةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا طَائِرٍ يَطِيرُ بِجَنَاحَيْهِ إِلَّا أُمَمٌ أَمْثَالُكُمْ مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ ثُمَّ إِلَى رَبِّهِمْ يُحْشَرُونَ نعم الحيوانات تحشر وتحاسب ثم كون تراب هذا متى قبل الحساب للإنسان فالظالم يزداد خوف والمظلوم يزداد رجاء سبحان الله والله سبحانه وتعالى قال وإذا وإذا الوحوش حشرت وهذا الحديث أكبر دليل الله سبحانه وتعالى said the birds animals ants fish you name it communities like you they have rules and they have system and they have people work and people unemployed low lives and unlaw lives you name it you know talk about the bees how many low lives do you have in the bees brother you think there are low lives in bees all males are low lives women work and men don't work that's why in winter they kill them they kill all men except Sandeed Wahad Min Hash Shabab Basla Li Queen The rest of them Tkhayal Lau Niswan Nahek Ya Amala Fina Subhanallah So brothers when you think of animals and you think of accountability Wallahi it's easier for you take care of things now if you have somebody tell him forgive me Give it to him, apologize, make dua for him, pay him back before it's too late. Let to add dunna al hukuka ila ahliha yom al kiyama hatta inna ho yukadu li shat il jalha min a shat il karna. Mohada makala al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lena walakum al afia. Subhanaka mahoma bihamdik. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت استغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله